main items I use on here are drugstore. You're going to see a lot of like questionable footage on here, but um, I wanted to take you along the journey with me to trying on some of these new products that I found and I picked up today. I hope you guys love it. Let me show you how I do it. I'm going to prime my skin with a Laura Geller primer. This is the Spackle. I used to love this one a lot back in the day and I kind of rediscovered it. This is a foundation that I tried before a long time ago, but it's the Revlon Colorstay. They have the new packaging. They have several new colors, but the awesome part of it is, is oh wait, I didn't open it yet. But the awesome part about it is that it has a pump. How cool is that, right? So the color I got was in 375. There were so many numbers, and I was looking at them, and I'm like, I don't know, I don't know. But right now I'm getting tanner, and I just think I, think I need like a darker complexion. Um, so I thought this would be a, a good one. I know for a fact that when I used to use this foundation, I did not use it with the Beauty Blender. So um, this will be exciting to see how, how it wears. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. And keep in mind, I'm not matching it to my skin on my face. I'm actually matching it to my shoulders and stuff like that, which is much tanner than what I am now. <gasps> okay, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I think this might be too dark. <laughs> you guys don't look crazy, but I really do get this tan. The worst is when you have like a color that's just too light. But do you see how I match? <laughs> All right. Don't get scared. And then another new thing that I'm using today is the is the Master Conceal Concealer from Maybelline. This isn't the color medium, number 40. I know they have several colors, but this was one that was probably closer to me than most, although it still seems kind of light. I swear, I'm a great makeup artist. It's just with myself, I overthink things way too much. <laughs> um, hmm. Summertime always confuses me. Always. This seems like a light. It doesn't really seem like a medium to me. But with this foundation, it might be perfect to kind of offset some of that orangey color. I like the texture of that concealer though. Like a lot. Alright, I'm going to set that with some uh, Laura Mercier powder. As you can see already, my face doesn't look scary anymore. <laughs> um, and it actually looks really good in person, like really good. At first I was scared, but it just goes to show you, sometimes sunscreen and makeup can be the best thing to prevent your face from getting tanner. Not that like you don't want it to, but like that's where all the sun damage happens and that's when you look like you're aged. Um, but it can make such a big difference in the variance between your face and your body. I kind of miss this foundation, like, it's a really good one. It's like super intense, high coverage, but I love it. For my eyes, I'm just going to use a little bit of primer. Okay, I want to do actually a really easy look, so I'm just going to use a little bit of this bronzer on my crease. Just to add some kind of dimension in there. And then another new product that I'm trying out today is this um, Essence eyeshadow palette. It's called All About Sunrise. It has these really pretty colors, and I really want to try this guy right here, just all over the lid. Um, but I want to see how the other ones look too, so I'm probably going to have to do a few looks with this one. I'm going to put that all... Oh, wow! That's really pretty. really pretty. I'm just using like a clean brush just to blend out the very edge. I'm going to add some more. Actually, I think I'm going to spray this because I want it. I want to see how much pigment I can get. So I'm going to dip it into the product and then I'm going to spray it. And then I'm going to apply it on my eye. Oh my gosh. I know I just did a like very shimmery look, but this is amazing. Oh, I love that. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye. The next thing I'm using is this Rimmel eyeliner. I actually saw What Would Lizzie Do uh, mention this, and she mentioned that it was really close to the Inglot liner, which I was like, but this is supposed to be smudge proof, smooth, intense color, and waterproof, and 24 hour. I'm not going to use the brush it comes with just because it's a little rounded. <clears throat> I don't prefer brushes that shape anyways. 
because I'm just not good at them. So I'm going to use a flimsier brush that's angled. This is the MAC 263. It's a really great angle brush. Ooh, I like it because it's very like a dryer formula. Very creamy. I'm going to start with the left first because the right one I'm better at, so I'm going to do the harder one first. That's something I always forget to do. Excuse me. That's pretty dark. That's a really good black liner. And I used the uh, black liner, the Inglot black one, in my professional kit. This looks very similar to that. Wow. I think that's the closest I can get. Because <laughs> I don't want to get, I don't want to mess it up. Um, but that's awesome. Oh, I'm so excited about this one. And it was really inexpensive. I'm okay, I just finished with the brows, so now I'm just going to move on to a few things on my face. I'm going to curl my lashes. A lot of gel liners uh, can be worn on the waterline, and I'm going to test it. But I'm going to do it first on the upper, like this. makes such a difference when you're wearing like a wing liner and especially when you're wearing lashes. Okay, I'm going to use my Voluminous Black Mascara to coat my tappies. I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do with my bottoms, but I think for now I'm just going to chill. Right, I have some ends here. These are from a lash, I believe it's called like a, a wispy. They're like the kind that you can get at um, a beauty supply store or something like that, but it's only the end. I use my dark dual glue. I mentioned this in my favorites. If you guys haven't checked out my favorites, um, I would recommend checking it out because I talk about the mascara and I talked about this. You now the trick is to remember what side this is on, so make sure you know what side's the smaller tapered side. Otherwise, you're going to end up having to take it off and redo it, which I've done before. It just makes like a really nice like slant on the eye and um, also it's very easy to put on compared to a strip and compared to individuals. As you can see now, um, everything on my face kind of settled in and now I could totally go in with bronzer. Originally I was like, I'm probably not going to go in with bronzer. You just kind of have to wait to see how everything settles because you'd be surprised at how easy um, a foundation can turn for the best or turn for the worst. For me, thank goodness it turned for the best. <laughs> turn for the better. So I'm just going to put a little bit on my kind of hairline area just to kind of complete it and then I'm going to add a little bit on my cheekbones. I'm going to put a teeny weeny bit on my nose. I've been doing this more and more lately and it just makes such a difference with how my nose looks and when I try to take up make a picture. I'm going to um, cook a little bit. Right under the cheekbones. So I'm going to let that sit on my cheekbones just for a teeny weeny bit because I want... I just want it to be sharper and clean. My brow, I think I'm actually going to use this guy right here. I'm a little nervous. Ooh. Oh wow, that's really pretty. Oh my gosh, you guys, I've never been so excited about an eyeshadow palette. That's a lie. I've been this excited uh, with the Morphe palette. <laughs> I'm going to take a pencil brush and use that same white color and bring it on the inner... Ooh, that's a scratchy brush. Inner corner.
that's pretty. Something that this reminds me of a lot is the Physician's Formula Highlighter. They have a very similar formula, except these are a little bit softer and creamier. Um, but I'm going to use this as my highlighter. This is the color Vegas Strip. It's called a bronzer, but it's a highlighter. It's like the iciness of this. I'm really liking this gel liner. Alright, so I'm going to do some eyeliner. My eyes look so pretty in auburn brown. Ever since I put that on, I love when it does that. I'm not going to smudge that out. Um, I'm just going to leave it and then put some Lash Stiletto Mascara on the bottom. This is just a little bit more uh, spiky, like the bristles are just a little bit more spread out. So I think they're going to cling on to my lashes a little better. Okay, now that everything is nice and settled, I'm just going to take a fluffy brush. This is a brush that I sometimes use with my foundation. Um, I just buff that away. I'm going to use this brown. This is the color Frappuccino by Jordana. It's one of their matte colors. I really like this color a lot. It just looks so pretty like against tan skin. It's just like, and the texture of it is like really, really pretty too. I'm going to take the color from Wet n Wild. This is in Bear It All. I'm just going to put that in the center just to kind of lighten it. Yeah, so final thoughts on all the items. I um, love, so far, this eyeliner. I'm going to test it out, let you know what I think, but if I... Um, get any kind of eye irritation, I'll let you guys know because I do get eye irritation sometimes with certain eye or eyeliners. But so far, this is awesome. It looks really, really good. And then the little palette. I like this a lot. It's really nice to have like a nice shimmery palette. I don't own a lot of shimmery colors anymore. <laughs> so I have like only matte. So it's really nice to have something like this to kind of like infuse into my collection. I think like went on my face really, really nicely and smooth. If this reminds me a lot of the L'Oreal Pro Matte Foundation, except, I don't know, it's just not as dry on my face. It doesn't hurt my face, really. It doesn't hurt my face, so I'm liking this a lot. Um, obviously, this is like 10 minutes in, 20 minutes in. Um, and then for my concealer, I was really scared, actually both both of these, I was really scared about the colors, but once you blend it out and like kind of play with it and just like morph it into like kind of use the back of it and then the front of it where you use the concealer and back and front, it totally kind of goes. So um, I'm going to keep this for a while and play around with it and see what I think about it some more, but I, I like it too. I like this texture. Hopefully you guys like this tutorial anyways and you thought it was interesting and fun. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye.